Hello Year 3 4. Here is a very short, hopefully, video about how to use a few of the command blocks on Scratch. So we have got our costumes, we've got our apple or our donut. Um, now, one thing that I've learned the hard way is I don't know if you can see it, but there's a very small cross right in the center. When you're turning a sprite, you've got to make it will go around this area. This is the thing that spins or turns. So if the sprite is off center, as this one is, you've got to put it back on the center, which is why that little center button there, look, turns to a hand, is there. So I can now place that right on top and it's in the center. So now when I've actually got my commands to spin or turn, it will turn around that particular point, not go from here to here to here to here to here. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go back now to scripts. This is the fun bit. That's all fun, but anyway. Uh, here are the blocks. They're just like Lego bricks. You can't do any of these instructions until you tell it what to do or how to do it. So, what I should do is get a couple of these out in one go. These are the buttons that we're going to use. Okay, I'm not going to do all of them for you, just show a few. But it's worth getting a few of these to do now when clicked that could be a restarting okay and i'll come to that in a minute you don't need any of these okay just when these just these for the moment okay now motion you want it to move so i like to pretty much um keep the space bar there so it makes a sentence when space is key pressed move 10 steps 10's not very much, as you may have seen from the uh, Smoky Car game. So I'm going to try 20. You must press enter after your number. Then it becomes live. Ooh, it says, here we go. We'll, we'll click out. Space bar, and then it moves. Now I can drag my sprite back to the start point. Which brings me to another point. If you want the um, sprite to move, what you can do is give the sprite the instruction to go point towards the mouse, sorry, go to mouse pointer. So what I'm going to do is have that there, but I'm not going to have space bar because obviously that's my stepping twice. So I'm going to actually change that to M for mouse. So when I press the letter M, my sprite should go on near my arrow here. There we go. And because I've centered it, it literally follows it around. So if you want to start back again, it can go to there. Now, uh, space bar, 20 steps. All good, but I don't want to head just that direction the whole time. I want it to change. Now, fill bag use, point in direction of rather than turn. Try both, see what you think, have a go. But of course, again, you don't want to use the space bars. You've got to keep thinking about what you want to do. Now, at the moment, it's point direction. So that's going to be the right arrow to go right. If I want to go a different direction, obviously you need a different one. So when something's pressed, now, if I drop down this menu, it says 90 degrees. It tells you really right, left, up, or down. So it helps you quite in quite a nice way, Scratch. So if that's left, obviously I want the left arrow key on the keyboard. So if I press my left key, you can't see this on here, but oh, what's it done? Why is the upside down? Oh, I've got two right arrows. My mistake. Look at that. What have I done? Mr. Warner, left arrow. There we go. So hopefully left arrow is still upside down. There we go. Left, right, left, right. So this is about playing. You know, I'm doing this live, having not practiced this very much. So there's a zero up, and it says up, so I'm gonna have the up arrow. I'll do it again. Down, I'm gonna put the down arrow. There we go. Now it might be, oh, that's gone. Now, if I press space, there we go. Right, space, up, left. Now he spins upside down, but there we go. He goes in the direction of the arrows. I promise I'm pressing. There we go. So, quite nicely done. I didn't really mean to teach you all that. Now, let's get rid of him, do that. Now, the other thing that is interesting is, is this. If on edge, bounce. Okay. I suggest you do this one purely because you don't want to lose your sprite so hopefully if you go that way it will bounce back in there you go and it's going the other way 
So if your player, there you go, I'm just holding down the space bar. If your player gets, you don't lose your sprite. So whatever direction you're going, okay. Now though, there we go. But now I don't see the turn, that's interesting. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't put that there then. Oh, I've got rid of the instructions, haven't I? Sorry, big pardon. Um, there we go. So it doesn't go up and down because I've taken those things away. Um, if I need to bounce, there we go. Go to mouse pointer you've thought about and just have a little play now. Oh, the pen. Have a look at the pen. There's lots of instructions you can do there. Pen down, pen up, set pen color. You can change the pen color if you give it another instruction there. And that's pretty much it for our game. Once you've done your backdrop and you've changed your sprite and you've written these uh, these out, that's what we're going to be doing um, for our game. Okay. Don't worry too much about other things. Once you've done this and mastered this, okay, those motion and events and the pen, save it, make sure it's saved. Keep saving regularly anyway. Uh, and that's your game, really. Um, save it as an original game. Okay. If you want to play it full, Go to this button here and it goes full screen and then you can play to your heart's content it says there we go oh it's very fun. so obviously i'll take there's very limited things there but it's nice full screen save it as a um as a complete game if you want to do any other changes get this done as a neat version first and a complete version the simple version and then do another version by saving it and calling it version two version three version four to make it different things the whole point of this is to learn about these things see how they work change it keep making changes and improving it and try and work out why it doesn't work if you're not sure have a look at someone else's always the best way to learn off someone else or oh, how to do that brilliant I'll, I'll use the same thing all right it's quite a useful thing to do okay so there you go have fun.